good morning. It is 8 a.m. right now. I'm on my way to pick up a delivery. I'm in, I don't know, I just came from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I don't know where I'm in Indiana now, but in I, it's, it's downtown left somewhere. On South Thorne Street. In a quarter mile, turn left onto South Thorne Street. Hold up. Take I, the next left onto South Thorne Street. Hold up. I I think I've I've been here before. Paperworks, yeah. And this is the one where the parking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been here before. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the left. Ah, this is the one where we have to park over there. There's a bunch of GP Transco trucks here. <clears throat> but last time, it was supposed to be a live load trailer they were supposed to get their forklifts and uh like go in my my trailer what are you doing guy what are you doing guy he's gonna go but it turned out that they were ahead of schedule and they ended up uh telling me okay yeah just go ahead drop the em your empty trailer in our yard and then we already loaded a, a different gp transco trailer for you over there so just pick that one up and you're good to go. Now, I turned around. There's a spot up here. There's a factory. And I did a little little circle. Turn right on Pine Street, then take the first left. I could have just parked right there. This is the sketchy road. Old dirt gravel Turn right road. On Market Street, then take the first right. If I remember right, there's a dock over here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. GoPro, stop a car. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Right here. You go, ooh, ooh, and then you go, ah, yeah. Okay. Am I straight? Nope. Nope. Not straight. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's freaking shaky. Stop! Stop shaking like there's a freaking earthquake. We're going not even one mile an hour, and this truck thinks it's a freaking earthquake. Oh my god. Oh, that, that looks really close, right? That roof. I don't know. Am I too tall for this? Yeah, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's gonna be close. Oh, that's because I have the trailer tires all the way forward. That's close. That's gonna be like inches. All right, we're gonna park it in between these two guys. We're gonna try to uh, go straight and then straight. Make it easy. parking to the right so that way the next guy that needs to pull in he can go straight back he doesn't have to come in at an angle because if I park there he's gonna come in at an angle it's gonna hit my truck and I'm gonna be pissed off so I'm just like no let's just make it easy for the next guy move to the right so that way he can just literally literally just reverse straight in a perfectly straight line all right I just went to check in but look what the heck I stepped in as I stepped out, look at this giant freaking puddle. My feet are absolutely soaked. I need to change my socks. I don't have new shoes, but my shoes are soaked. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. The good thing about this place is that they they usually they load the trailers very heavy. Which I like because it smooths out the ride on just <laughs> on this freight liner. <laughs> oh, it's bad. <laughs> 
But then the bad thing is that when you're going uphill, you're so slow. It goes like freaking 40, maybe max 50 miles an hour. It, it's, it's pretty bad. And now I gotta wait for this guy to get out of the dock and then I go there. I don't know where the heck this guy's going. I'm second in line, bud. I don't know what he's doing. But we'll see how long they take to, to load his trailer and how long it takes me to get out of here. There's one, two, three other trucks here. All right, he's out of the dock. The plan, what I've been seeing them doing is that they turn right into here. So that way the truck's facing that way. And then they go around the corner, the trailer first, like that. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. See ya. let's let this guy out. He's ready to go. Now we are good to go. They took, they actually took a decent amount of time. They took like an hour and three minutes to load. But then I was waiting here for another hour. So they did okay, I guess. Oh God, it's a big, oh my God. Oh my God. I still need to close the trailer doors. And now, uh, this, oh god, this, uh, delivery, heavy, 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 42,800 uh, pounds. Now, they said there was a scale, uh, my GPS says there's a scale, uh, 61 miles away, but where that GP Transco is coming from, uh, there's, there's a bunch of paper. A lot of paper where that truck's coming from it says that there's a scale over there so I mean I don't know if I can use it but I mean if that GP Transco truck went over there I'm, I'm sure we I can use it too there is a one two third panel I'll put the tandems at the third panel 
Alright, we gotta move the trailer wheels. Right now they're all the way back of the trailer. We need to move them forward. Closer to the front of the truck. Come on. Come on. What is going on? What is going on? Let me go see. I'll tell you what, these things are freaking hard to slide when the whole trailer weighs a ton. A lot of friction. Well, that's the third panel, right? One, two, three. Uh, uh probably. It's probably good. There we go. I said it was back here somewhere. Receiving raw stock receiving scales on Google Maps. It looked like it was right against this building right here on the left. As soon as I turned the corner, but how often is that image? Yeah, that's not. That's not a scale. But I was smart this time because oh. This isn't what what the heck's the scale? Oh my gosh, man! Oh no! Oh scales, it's on the right. Hey, right, you better stay there, man. Now, am I going the wrong way, or is he? Oh. I can make this turn, right? Probably, probably, probably. Oh, f oh, f oh God. I think I went in the wrong way. Unless, where are they going? Do I back out? I'm pretty sure I'm the idiot here. I mean, I can't really back out of here. going that way. No eye contact with anyone <laughs> because I know I'm the idiot here. This is pretty messed up. This is very... I mean, this is... I think you have to call in for these scales. I don't think... I think this is one of those scales where it only tells you the weight of the truck and trailer not the weight of like that's on each set of tires oh my gosh man. I, 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 I'm just gonna go to the um, the pilot at this point the one that's 61 miles away you know what at least I'm not the only idiot going the wrong way <laughs> we got another one and we got this guy so if you're gonna be an idiot 
It helps not to be the only one, you know? <laughs> Look, this is what I was talking about earlier. Like when I was driving downtown, li literally, that that is downtown. It's crazy. Alright, I just, on my way to the, the truck stop 61 miles away, I saw a scale at another truck stop right here. Even though I asked my GPS for a truck stop along my route, for some reason it didn't say that truck stop exist. existed. So... Right now, I'm turning around through the backwoods and going to that truck stop to see whether or not they put too much stuff in my trailer. Man, talk about backwoods, middle of nowhere. Literally, middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's illegal weights. Uh, they're too far forward, so Here, let me go park and figure this. All right, so right now it's 36,160 pounds It can only be 34,000 36,160 minus 34,000 2,160 pounds overweight divided by 259 Nine? I need to move it nine part. I'm doing the math wrong, right? There's no way. Maybe 500? Four? I need to move it at least four. But then what's. Yeah, at least four. Four points backwards. I need to move this. You see those holes? That pin has to go at least four holes backward. So one, two, three, four. Line up here, about right with this line at least. The pin has to line up. Now, I never know. God, I need to back up. I can never tell from looking at this mirror exactly. All right, it's moving now exactly like where the trailer tires are positioned <laughs> so I, I just end up like parking and getting out and, and just looking to see where it's at and, I, and then if it's not then i park again and then i move again and it's, it's a whole process uh, let me go see i don't even know and it is so freaking windy uh here uh, you see that pin? It's right there. It's still too far forward, so I need to move it back a little bit more. Uh, I think I got it this time. Let me see. It's freaking cold, man. Holy sh! Oh. All right, is it lined up here? Ah, it's right there. Yeah, uh, I don't want to move it too far back because then turning is turning is a nightmare. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing my math right because that should be thirty-four thousand. It's legal. I'm not doing something right. I don't know. It's all good to go, but now there's thirty-three thousand one hundred forty pounds on the truck, and the max you can have on trucks thirty-four thousand pounds. And then once I fill up to get more uh, diesel, like fill it up, that half a tank, then then I, I need to go on the scale again. Because then it's probably going to be too much weight on the truck now. Once I fill up. But for now we're good. You know, half a tank will last at least 200 miles. At least. Even at 43,000 pounds. Actually, I should start finding a truck stop to shut down at. Maybe fuel. 
I don't like to drive past three, like 12, one, two, three, three hours, 60 miles an hour, 60, 120, 180, 180 miles. Okay, Garmin, truck stop along my route. Scroll down. Scroll down. Uh, 160. 22. Add as next stop. Oh, I need fuel, but it's three o'clock, so I'll get fuel tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. Then at 3 a.m., they're not busy, so I don't have to wait in line. Uh, and then once I fuel, I added weight to the truck, so I have to go back there. But look at this. There are so many spots. Yes. Pick one next to a barrier. Yeah, I'm gonna park over there. That's a good spot. I see this one right here. Pick one next to this grass patch over here. Whatever it's called. So that way. Oh, these are thin. Why do they make these so thin? This is a thin lane, man. But I don't have to worry about anyone hitting my truck from the left side. Now I only gotta worry about the right side being hit whereas like if i was parked like this guy this guy's got to worry about like holy crap is someone going to hit me on my left side or someone going to hit me on my right side i don't know you know i'm not about that you know i like my truck kind of <laughs> but you gotta protect oh no but he's got a reefer though he's got a refrigerated trailer that thing goes all night. It goes zzzz. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear zzzz all night while I'm trying to sleep. Let me go see if I'm even parked in the spot. I can't even tell, like, where the line is. And you see how I got parked, like, closer to here? I don't even know where the line is at. Oh, yeah, I'm way over the line. It's over there. Now... Some people may look at the way I parked and say that I'm a complete idiot. Hear me out. Look, okay, okay, first thing, first smart move. No one can park here, right? It's impossible for anyone to park here because that's in the way. Now I have it like crooked like this because last night, oh, it's so windy. Last night, some Dumbo was like backing in like this and then he ended up hitting this mirror hitting this mirror like he didn't leave a scratch or anything but like he he like bumped it like that because he didn't know how to freaking park and so learning from that now the guy that like okay okay like so the truck comes in through here right and then he's gonna go through here and then you go that go that now and then he's gonna back in through here now that I have this like angled like that it's pretty much impossible for him to hit this so I think it was a smart move I think I I think I think I'm genius all right I think I am oh it's the other one's latched hold on hold on the other one's latched Alright, that's going to be it for today, but I don't deliver until tomorrow. For today, I drove 344 miles. That's disappointing. I only have 34 minutes of drive time left. I think it was because I was waiting at that, uh, that warehouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had to drop off a delivery and it was a live unload. And then that other live load took forever. So that ate up all my time. Oh well. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. Are you pulling out? Oh no, this guy moved his truck. I don't know what you're doing. Stay there, man. It is the next day. I'm going to make this delivery today. GPS says I'll get there at 1 p.m. Uh, we'll say 2. For traffic and everything 
I just took my little lunch break and uh, I gotta see on the highway I cannot see a dang thing alright alright cars cars in one truck hey this pickup truck yeah alright I'm going slow this ain't 43,000 pounds up a hill sorry guys but 35 miles, <laughs> 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Go! <laughs> uh, now this delivery is uh, a live unload, uh, meaning that uh, I'm gonna have to back into a warehouse, like a dock, and uh, guys with the forklifts are gonna have to go in the trailer and uh, take all the stuff out. So I figure, I get there, okay, maybe like 1.30. 1.30, and then they take an hour. They usually take an hour. Then that'll be 2.30, they'll be done. Uh, and then checking out, signing out, and everything. I'm thinking right after this delivery. Oh, big old truck, big old truck, big old truck. I'm thinking right after this delivery, uh, I'm just gonna go to uh, go to shut down, like take the day off. I don't drive past three, man. Very strict about that. You know what I was thinking is that every single time, like I have to uh, like shut down, like end my work day, I always park in the same places. Always is either a truck stop or a rest area. It's so boring, man. So boring. I wish, I wish I could park at a state park. You know, cause I've been to those, but I've been to them in a car. I'm like, I'm looking around at their parking lot. I'm like, yeah, there, there's no way a semi truck's gonna fit in here. I think it'd be so much fun. You can actually like get out and walk around and explore the mountains and everything. Ah, he's taking the exit. The exit's in the left lane. This is so boring. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I've been driving for like four, about four and a half hours straight. No stopping. All there is, I'm in Nebraska, all there is fields. <laughs> the whole freaking time. And then this guy in front of me, I've been behind him for a while. He keeps slowing down to like 63 and then speeding up to 65 and then slowing down to 63. But that's because the, the truck in front of him uh, it's got ice like on the trailer and so like every once in a while like a big sheet of ice will just like splatter on the ground and go everywhere and so I'm guessing that's why the guy in front of me keeps on changing his speed and I'm about like half an hour away from the delivery I told my fleet manager I'd be there at 3, but I'm gonna get there at like 105, GPS says, say 130. Also, I'm hungry. You know what I've been craving? I've been craving, uh, like it's called uh, uh, like pan de dulce. It's like this Hispanic food, I guess. They had it in Ecuador. It's this like bakery bread with like some sort of cheese filling but not like cheese like block cheese like shred no not that it's like pudding oh there's something on the shoulder pudding filled bread basically i know it sounds weird but it tastes absolutely delicious what are you doing my gang you gonna let him in you gonna let him in then what's this guy doing Better stay there
Why is there a cop? How the heck did you get up there? What the hell? And there's another one. Why the heck? I didn't even see anyone being pulled over. I don't know what happened. Hold on. I think I've been here before. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. They only have one dock here. Which sucks. Take the next right onto Summit Avenue. Uh, then you will arrive at your destination. I remember coming here when the when the roads were terrible. I had to drive 35 miles an hour because then, because the main highway was shut down, I had to take side roads. Turn Man, left. it was literally all you all ice. You could not see the road at all. That was terrible. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you go in, and then you park on the right side. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. arrived. Alright, there's someone in there. This is the one where you have to blindside back. Right there. But, while well, he's getting unloaded, I'm gonna go check in, and then I'm gonna go open the trailer doors and everything. Tandems, do everything while I'm waiting. Alright, just checked, checked in. Um, might as well just get ready while I'm waiting for this guy to get out of there. Did I put a lock on it? I did put a lock. But, uh, I found out on my phone, um, I'm, I'm doing the exact same route again. <laughs> like, okay, so I picked up this delivery in Wabash, Indiana, and I'm dropping off here in Nebraska. Now, I'm picking up in Nebraska at this place, this exact place, and then I'm going back to the, uh, place in Wabash, Indiana to deliver. Literally the same route. But it's a good route though. It's like 780 something miles. I think 753, something like that. All right, I've only waited here for like less than five minutes. That guy's already gone out the dock. I can go left. Everything's opposite. All right, but I gotta hold it straight. All right. I literally, I cannot see. Look, this is what I see from the mirror. Yeah, I can't tell. Like, I can't stick my head out the window like I can over here and then see the trailer because it's all the way over there. Well, I, I, I really, literally, I have no idea. I mean, it looks right, but is it? I don't know. This trailer's got good tires. I want to keep this trailer for a while. Oh, man, I am far away. Yeah, I am... I am, I got plenty of room. I know I'm on the edge. Room. All right, let me just, I need to get like close to here, but if I remember, there's a pipe sticking out. Where'd the pipe go? I swear last time there was a pipe sticking out right here. Maybe someone ran it over. No, no, it's not here anymore. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, I just need to turn. I need to turn it hard. This this needs to start getting straight now. Uh, this is where I need to turn left, hard, hard left, hard left, all the way, all the way. I just need to get it straight. And once the trailer's straight, then I can go up there, like right now. All right, right, right. Now this is good here. I gotta go left. Oh, oh it's too far. This needs to get closer to that concrete barrier. It needs to get closer. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there, right there. Yes, 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 yes little bit and there we go there we go we're good you see that yeah oh we're go a little bit a little bit don't give yourself a concussion Alex 
Let me go double check. Oh, there's ice back here. That's good. There's a lot of ice. A lot of ice. A lot of ice. A lot of ice. Oh. Alright, he is all done. The guy took like max, it's, honestly it's probably less than 20 minutes. Alright, he said drop it here and then pick up trailer, I think he said $12.99. It ended in $99. How the heck am I gonna get this? I kinda don't wanna get rid of this trailer man, it's a really good trailer. Ay, ay, ay. There we go, this spot. I know this spot. Yeah, that one right there. He's out. That's a lot tandems.
So a bunch of this stuff. Recyclables. And here's the paperwork. Ah. All the lights are cleaned. Alright. We got a problem. The tandems on the trailer won't slide because they are air operated. Meaning that they need air in order for the tires on the trailer. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. I've been trying to fix the freaking trailer because it, it's air slide tandems but it didn't have any air in it. So I had to do a couple freaking laps all around this freaking place. So that way the air slide tandems which require air in order for the tires on the trailer to slide. I had to build up air by doing a couple laps around here. It was just a pain. I was supposed to get at my, my freaking truck step at 3 p.m. I'm going to get there at 326 now. That's how long I, I've been trying to do that. God. <sighs> All right, my GoPro keeps on glitching out. Oh, don't hit the trailer. But I am here at the truck stop to shut down. It's like 3.38. Meet it a little bit later. But I remember this truck stop. This isn't just any truck stop. I came here. Uh, it's called like Baselman. Baselman truck stop. Somewhere in Nebraska. Grand Island, Nebraska. I remember. I parked, uh, I think it was over here. There was this huge tornado coming by over here, right? Huge. And then, yeah. And then over there in that blue building, while the tornado was going on, these crazy people were outside like walking around like there was nothing happening. They're crazy. <laughs> but I was parked like right there, like two parking spots uh, to the right of me. The trailer completely flipped on its side. That's how horrible it was. And the whole sky was orange. It, it was terrible. But I'm going to go do my uh, my inspection, make sure nothing's broke. I already did my inspection. I just picked up the trailer. What am I going to do another one for? Drive 30 minutes? Something's going to break in 30 minutes? Look at these tires though. These are nice tires. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, bye-bye. I'm going to go get some pizza.